doesn't matter what your Instagram shows or how well you did last week. All that matters is what you do today. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. Tournament fishing is competition against yourself just as much as everyone else. One bite can make the difference between winning and losing. The clock is ticking. You better make every cast count. It's easy to take your best days of fishing and compare it to tournament results to make yourself think you have what it takes to compete. But your highlight reel means nothing come tournament day. All that matters is what you can do right here, right now. With 58 bolts registered, the 5th annual Dock Rob Bass Classic is set to be the biggest and most competitive yet. Based on last week's pre-fish, we know the big bass have already started moving into their summer spots. The big girls we want for the tournament were on their own and away from the schools. Since the weather has been consistent since last weekend, we aren't expecting the seasonal progressions to have moved much further. With only a single day for competition and some of the best anglers on Georgian Bay competing for nothing more than bragging rights, an average sized bag is not going to secure a win. To even be competitive, we're expecting to need at least 20 pounds of smallmouth in our biggest five. With this in mind, we plan to swing for the fences and chase a huge school of giant offshore smallmouth that we've located last season. The plan is risky as the water temperatures in the area are likely to be cooler than what we fished last weekend, and the fish may not have schooled up yet, or moved out to these spots. But if they have, we could easily boat 5 fish in an hour that would give us a great shot at winning. needs a long run from blast off and even though we're in the fourth heat to leave we're quickly passed by some other boats that make us look like we're standing still the first stop of the day makes us call an immediate audible with water temperatures in the low 60s we're skeptical that the fish have moved out and that they would be active even though the birds were in the area. Moving closer to spawning bays, we find some slightly warmer water. Still not what we're looking for, but decide to fish it and see if any fish are around. There's a fish. Pound and a half, two pounds, maybe? I don't know. I wanted to, and then they're just too expensive. Oh, I'm on. Oh, you got the one I had. Oh, you got that. Oh, that's a nice one. Ready? Oh, 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 Good enough, eh? We don't need to... Yep. Well, that one feels good. Really good. What do you think? 
Oh, fuck, those are both good. This is a 3 2, so. <laughs> so, the, so, so that that also looks like it's probably close to a 3 pounder, and that, that's the two small ones. A quick 3 fish, with the smallest being around 3 pounds, is already setting it us, us up for a quality bag. But the quantity of active fish just don't seem to be here. If we weren't in a tournament, we would probably try to figure out what the fish are doing and where they are in this area, but we haven't got any time for that. dry. It's time for plan B. Right. And make a move to some of the hot areas we found in our free fish. And seeing fish on the electronics as we pull up, we know it's about to go down. Keep on bottom for a bit as we drift over it. Kind of looks like fish on 360 right over there. Well, it's getting, getting that, Bill, getting that. Oh, that's a big one. It's right here. Turn Ready? <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't stab, don't stab. There you go. Scoop. That's pressure. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see that one on 360. Too much pressure on that, Damon. There we go, boy. Oh. Here we go. Net. There's one. Good? Oh, get Oh, hey, Phil, big one. Great big one right there. Oh, shit. Oh, Pucky just got off, too. Good job. Pucky got a nice line, too. I think mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> we're gonna have to start weighing a couple. I mean, I hope we're letting all these go, but. <laughs> we got six in there. That guy could probably go in. Huh, which one's bigger? This one's 2.9. Wow, this little guy's 2.9. That one is quite a bit smaller, right? Yeah, I'll let him go. Yeah, okay. Put that on there, squeeze it. Two seven. Two seven. Yeah, this one's two nine. Oh, what do you got in there, Lester? Anything bigger than two seven? That's more. Okay, we got a two seven and a two nine here. That's a big one. I think they're all small. Put the divider on. There's not enough room for them then. <laughs> Is that the, that's probably the smallest one left. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's three. That's three? Yeah. Okay, right, ears can go, Bill. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. What one's? So I think this is the next one. I don't know if that's bigger than that. I think so. Yeah? Cool. I like that for us. Yeah. So I think, I think that can, that can go too. A 2.9 is not even close. <laughs> That's a better one. Oh shit, there's a whole bit. This is smaller? No, I figured. Man. But they weren't fucking right over there. There's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a baby. This is your drag off, Seth. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah. 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 After filling it or limit with the smallest fish being just under 3 pounds, it's time to start focusing on the big bites. From last week's pre-fish and today's action so far, the big fish should be out on their own in some early summer spots. Further along, the seasonal migration route and the smaller fish we can catch. One of my big old fucking five old. There he is. Ready, old boy? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, fuck it. Oh my god, he was right there on you. Right in front of the boat, Dad. Right in front of the boat. Yeah, Warming up, big boys. Wrist snapper. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, did you lose him? Oh. Seeing how good the bite is today, someone is going to catch a mega bag. We expect to need 25 pounds to top the leaderboard by the end of the day. Say four. I'm gonna say it's probably more just because we're bad at catching. Five years ago, Yeah. Yeah, that one's by far smaller. <laughs> yeah, it's saying three pounds. Oh, do you want to wait? Oh, oh, oh sorry. Close. Open the bail. Oh, fuck. 
to drop it. They're going to regret that. I don't know. She's like 315 at least. Yeah, 313, 314. Okay, so we can find that other one then. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Fuck, dude! Nice Fucking job. you're smoking them today, man. Such <laughs> hey, slide. Ooh, fucking slapped it. Like oh, a freight train. I'm gonna jump. I don't want to jump. That does it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Big fish this today big. are biting, and not just the bass. Done. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. That's a small fish in the day. Yeah. 
with an hour and a half left until check-in, it's time to start heading back so we can take our time and not shake up the fish too much. With a little over 23 pounds from our measurements, we should have a good shot at the win. With just under four minutes until check-in, we make it back to a long line of boats already at the weigh-in. As we sit in line at the weigh-in, we wonder how else uh, everyone did and reflect on some of the great moments of the day. Giant bass, pickerel, and big pike, a clutch catch out of mid-air for our fifth fish in our top five, and realizing how crazy it is throw back multiple four-pound bass were because they were too small for our limit. Regardless of the outcome, what, what an awesome day this is. As the results come in, we're blown away with the number of big fish caught today. With eight teams weighing in at over 20 pounds and half a dozen fish between five and a half and six and a half pounds, it's clear some of Georgian Bay's best were on the water competing today. 23 and three quarter pounds puts us in second place overall behind a mega bag of 25.5 pounds, just like we expected. An incredible day on an amazing fishery. Even more incredible is the support from the community for this great cause over the past five years. Mental health illness is a growing epidemic that has become even more apparent throughout COVID lockdowns. As we start to get back to a new normal, we encourage you to prioritize your health, be kind to others, know that how others are treating you has more to do with their own situations than anything to do with you, and most importantly, if you or someone you know is struggling with their mental health, please reach out to somebody. You are not alone. If you'd like to donate to a great cause or get involved in next year's event, please reach out to docrobbassclassic at gmail.com. Fishing is fun, but we can all agree, catching is a whole lot better. Fishing is a puzzle, and our Zero to Hero Masterclass is here to help you solve regardless of where, when, or what you fish for. If you've never picked up a rod before, or you've been fishing for a lifetime, our program will teach you all you need to catch more and bigger fish every time you hit the water. You'll learn how to use fish biology and environmental cues to figure out the hows and whys of their behavior in order to plan your fishing trips, make smart, informed decisions on the water, and ultimately put more and bigger fish in the boat. The new wave of fishing is here. Are you ready to catch it?